Welcome back everyone. It is Ryan with the Idaho Crypto Group here. Today we're going to be teaching you how to sign up and start using Gemini. Gemini is an online crypto exchange where you can buy cryptocurrency as well as trade cryptocurrencies. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is click the link in the description below. That's going to use our referral link. And when you sign up with our referral link, verify your identity and deposit your first $100 worth of crypto, you're going to get a free $10 in crypto and so are we. Obviously it's a win for you guys because you get a free $10, but it's also a win for us. That $10 is going to go towards the Idaho Crypto Group so we can keep making these sort of educational videos for you guys. So go ahead and click the link in the description below and then it's going to take you to Gemini.com and you're going to go to the get started page. Obviously, if you click the link in the description, it's already going to take you here. And the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and sign up for an account. You're going to fill in your basic information here, your first and last name. Now, keep in mind, guys, when you are signing up, it is going to auto populate some sort of location for you. Some particular crypto exchanges aren't allowed in some countries or states. So you're just going to want to make sure that you are using an exchange that is allowed in your area. So once you've got all your info typed in, you're going to go ahead and hit next. All right. Now it's going to want you to pop in your phone number real quick for two factor authentication. I'm going to do that real quick. And then it is going to text me a code. Now it's going to ask some more basic details about yourself, such as your address. So I'm going to go ahead and pop all of that in and I'll catch up with you guys here in a second. Now, keep in mind the reason that some of these online regulated exchanges such as Gemini, Kraken or Coinbase are going to ask for some of these details about yourself is because they are regulated with the SEC. They're abiding by all of the laws in the US, so they are going to have to collect information. Um, keep in mind, if you make tons of money off of crypto investing on any of these platforms, uh, you know, you, you are going to be liable to paying um, capital gains taxes on on the profits that you make. Here at Idaho Crypto Group, we are not certified or registered financial advisors. We are not accountants. We are simply um, like I've said before, crypto nerds, we know a lot about this stuff. So we're just here to teach you how to use the tools that are available. So again, I'm going to go ahead and put in my information and I will be right back. All right. Now it's going to have me pop in my social security number as well as my date of birth. All this information is because, you know, if depending on what country or state you're in, um, different countries require different um, KYC requirements, know your customer requirements, depending on which exchange you're using. So again, um, you are going to be responsible for all of the actions that you do on this account. Now, the next step you're going to need to do is identity verification. So you can either use a passport or a driver's license um, here in the United States. So I'm going to go ahead and use my driver's license for now. Now, there's a couple of ways you can upload the photos of your driver's license. You're going to need to upload a picture of the front as well as the back. So one thing you can do if you hit this button here that says continue on phone, it's kind of a cool little tool where it will actually text you a link on your phone where you can then use your phone and take a picture of your ID. Um, and it'll link it to this computer account and it will upload your ID there. Or you can take it with your phone, email it to yourself and use upload, you know, through your traditional file explorer option on your computer. But I'm going to go ahead and use the phone link since it's super quick and simple. So they are going to text me a link real quick. Again, there's my phone number, send link. And now I just received a link. So I'm going to click on it, make sure it is from Gemini. And now it is going to have me take a picture of the front of my license. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. Uh, make sure your light. It says make sure your license details are clear to read with no blur or glare. Hit OK. Onto the back photo. All right. Now it wants a picture of the back real quick. So I will take that one as well. Boom. Upload. Confirm. And be patient. It might take just a moment to upload these photos. Boom. And as you can see, once it syncs up with your phone that you took the photos, it says documents have been documents uploaded and you can hit submit verification boom and just like that it says welcome aboard now at this point you can either add a payment method or you can do it later again since gemini is a regulated and secured exchange in the united states you can hook up most debit cards and bank accounts to this exchange to buy cryptocurrency with us dollars now one of the main problems that a lot of people run into is a lot of banks still today actually don't allow cryptocurrency purchases so depending on who you bank with you actually might not be allowed to um, make cryptocurrency purchases, unfortunately, um, because, yeah, banks don't exactly like cryptocurrency at the moment, as you can see. However, um, for now, again, you can link a card or a bank account. Um, if you want to be sure, you can go ahead and call your bank and ask them if they allow cryptocurrency purchases. This is where you could link up your bank account for deposits, or you can also link up a debit card um, for deposits on here. Now, if you, if you link your bank account, you're going to be able to make deposits and withdrawals automatically. If you do a debit card, it's going to take a couple of days to verify. Um, same thing if you do the manual 
and you'll make account linking but anyways this is this is where you can switch up your payment methods again this is in sort of your gemini settings so here you can mess with your security settings change your login password two-factor authentication all of that but i'm going to go ahead and go back to the main page here on the gemini exchange and this is sort of what your home page is going to look like so we've got the market tab the earn tab and the portfolio tab okay um, over here it's going to give you a few options on how you can complete your account and again remember that ten dollar bonus as long as you signed up using the link in the description of this video um, you upload your id add a payment method and add your first hundred dollars in crypto remember you will get a ten dollar crypto bonus and so will we so we super appreciate you guys using our referral link as well so we can keep making these videos for you guys anyways back on here you've got the market page on gemini where it's going to give you a lot of price details price action movement of a lot of the top coins and cryptocurrencies on the market today um, bitcoin for example you can click into that and see some sort of chart here and you can also place some sort of orders um, buys and sells for bitcoin here and the ordering process is going to be you know discussed and explained in uh in some future videos um, but this is what your basic um, coin page is going to look like if you wanted to buy let's say you want to buy boom just once you want to buy five hundred dollars worth of bitcoin we're going to hit continue but obviously I haven't confirmed my account or added a payment method yet, so I can't quite do that. That is something you will need to do first. Um, going on to the second page here on Gemini is the earn page. So this brings up a term in the cryptocurrency space called staking. Now what staking is, is essentially breaking it down in the simplest way possible is locking up a portion of your coins for a period of time to contribute to the blockchain network and you receive rewards in coin for that. So basically you make passive income by having a savings account, right? So when you go to your bank and start a savings account, you're gonna get like 0 0.00001 interest a year, right? You got you got a million dollars in that bank account. At the end of the year, they're gonna give you a buck. Pretty lame, right? Well, with staking, obviously right off the bat, you can see literally just by holding the Gemini dollar, which is their stable coin on this website, you will literally get 8.05 annual percent APY yield, which, is crazy um, because that's way exponentially, exponentially, exponentially higher than any bank certificate of deposit or any other stock that you can find to get that kind of interest rate in a year it, with no risk, by the way, with absolutely no risk is super cool. So we're gonna do a video on that later explaining how you can make some passive income by staking cryptocurrency. But anyways, for now, we're gonna go over to the third page, which is gonna be the portfolio page on Gemini here, this third tab. And this is where it's basically gonna show all the money and all the coins that you're currently holding in your account. So here you'll be able to see a sort of um, price action timeline of your of your portfolio value you can break it down to daily weekly monthly three month or one year views and it'll show you all of your different balances and coins that you're holding down here um, up here on the right you can go to transfer this is again where you can deposit into gemini uh, apparently i need to confirm my email first so let me do that real quick all right so i went ahead and confirmed my email now okay so now here we go this is where you can put a deposit into your gemini account so um here are the different fiat currencies that they offer deposits from obviously i'm going to be using us dollar and then boom of course it's going to ask me to add a bank account and this is where you can go through and link up a debit card or bank account to make a deposit same thing with withdrawing um again you're going to need to do your identity verification and add a payment method before you can withdraw from gemini but this uh this transfer page is where that would be done now, one thing you guys can do if you want to take a little more aggressive, let's say, trading approach. Um, by the way, in my opinion, Gemini is not the best exchange to be day trading on. Um, Gemini, Coinbase, Kraken, they're, they're great entry level um, exchanges, but not necessarily the best for day trading. But that being said, if you go up here to your account page tab and hit settings right here, you can see we're on Gemini basic right now. If we want to switch over to Gemini active trader. I'm gonna click on that, okay? And now I'm gonna go back to Gemini Exchange. Gemini Active Trader is super awesome because it gives you all these tools. You've got your candlestick chart, you've got your basic exchange history, you've got your order book, you've got your limit orders here, your market order, stop limit, um, filler kill orders, which these are all things we're gonna be going over in future videos, how to use Active Trader. Um, you've got indicators up here, you've got your different time frames for your candlestick charts. So super awesome. If you wanted to take a more, you know, like I said, a more advanced um, trading approach on Gemini here, you're definitely gonna wanna have that. Um, active trader option ticked on in your settings again you can click up here and see all your different um, 
see all your different currency pairs, all these different coins, go to different charts. Super awesome, a lot more advanced than it used to be. And again, we also do have the daily auction tab as well as the block trades tab, which again, things we will go over in future videos. So again, guys, super simple today. We just wanted to show you how to get set up on a Gemini account, how to get verified with your identity and how to basically start using cryptocurrency on here. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Let us know what other tutorials you guys want to see. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.